Uh, Dr. Brown, Georgia, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, I believe that the federal government should not be picking winners and losers in the marketplace. It seems to me the DOE has repeatedly proven that this administration is clueless when it comes to making good business investments and that it also tends to side with political crony companies. Unfortunately, the department's political favors come with more than a billion dollar price tag that will have to be paid for by American taxpayers. Time and time again, we've seen companies like Abound, Solar, Beacon Power, A123 Batteries, and of course Solyndra receive millions and billions of dollars just to drop jobs. In addition to those 465,000, uh, 465 million that went to Tesla Motors to make a luxury electric car with a sticker price of $100,000, worst kind of corporate welfare. In the President's energy budget, the few people to be able to afford those cars would receive a $10,000 tax subsidy. How can President Obama justify asking for more than a half a billion dollars in additional funding for his preferred green programs? Secretary Chu, you tell me why you think your department deserves more taxpayer money to blow through, given your abysmal track record. What grade would you say you deserve for the management of the DOE resources over the last three years? Well, I would give myself a, a, a pretty good grade because if you look at what we've done and what we've uh, uh, supported and the, the breakthroughs that have occurred during this tenure, uh, I think it, it, it speaks very well. Uh, as I said before, the battery research has been going extremely well, uh, way ahead of what we thought was the schedule. We're very focused on uh, a lot of the grid technologies, on uh, uh, solar technologies, and um, as another example, uh, the bioenergy bioenergy centers that which were started in the previous administration uh, have done extremely well and we're continuing funding those. A lot of the inventions and technologies are now being licensed by companies and they're entering into pilot production. So there are many successes uh, in the technologies the Department of Energy has uh, supported and uh, the private sector, American industry are picking up these technologies. So what grade would you give yourself? Oh, 8F, what grade uh, would you give yourself? There's always room for improvement, maybe an A minus. <laughs> Sir, I'd give you a D minus or an F. Somebody who makes a 69 on a test fails. Mm -hmm. Now, you do have some successes. I appreciate the, the loan to the Georgia Power Company to put in place the two new reactors that are there at Plant Vogel, the first reactor that's been authorized in over 30 years. We need to have the ability to put in place nuclear reactors very quickly. I'd like to see a template so that that if a company followed that template, they could just go ahead with a construction that the uh, government would oversee it just to make sure it was being followed. But they wouldn't have to spend millions or billions of dollars in just trying to get approval from uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, uh, particularly as anti-nuclear as this administration has been. But y'all have had failure after failure after failure. Sir, I'm not sure why we should give you any more money because um, I think you have failed. Like I say, I believe you've got a D minus or an F at best. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. 